Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna get the car ready to install a new front mount intercooler. It hasn't came in yet, however, it should be here any day. So I just wanna get everything ready so that way as soon as it comes in, I can get it installed and get the car back on the road. Currently working on a couple other projects with the, uh, the fueling to get that fixed right now. But this video will be concentrating on installing the Rada probably saying that wrong, 1300 horsepower uh, intercooler. I've uh, seen the directions, it's a little frightening what I have to cut up, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. So let's get started. So the first thing I did is removed the cowl. There's just a couple fasteners that hold that in. Now I'm gonna do everything to get the front bumper off. So I'll get the camera set up and show you briefly how easy it is to do that. Okay, so there's T25s, three along this side, then one that comes up in. Once they're removed, you can actually pop it off there. There's two T25s along the bottom, and then I believe they are T30s along the front. And I did the same thing over on this side, and you literally just pop it off and two T25s right here. And I should be able to pull this off. I'm gonna pull it off real quick and get back to you. So that was really easy, pretty much slides right off. There's one clip down here you have to undo. So you just slide the red tab back, squeeze and pull out. And I put a moving blanket underneath so that way it doesn't get the bottom of the bumper scratched up. So I just removed the headlights. In order to do that, there's a bolt here, the bolt here, a bolt here. You have to remove the plastic bracket from right here. And it's got two T30s holding it. That will allow it to come out. Uh, you then unplug it. This side actually has a plug up towards the front as well. So now I'm going to remove these side brackets and get everything to remove <coughs> the crash bar. So there's a T30, a T30, and then there's a bracket that holds the horn on. That's also a T30. There's four bolts holding the bumper on, which are 16 millimeters. And once we get the bracket off and the bumper off, we'll be able to remove the intercooler. So far with the intercooler, I've loosened and removed the couplers. And then there's a T30 here and a T30 there on both sides. So I have the crash bar removed. One thing you'll want to pay attention to is how it's notched out right there. That notch sits in right here. So what you'll do is you'll lift it up, tilt it back, and then you can pull the whole bar up and do that on each side. And the APR front mount intercooler is out. So now I will be um, getting ready to cut and I'll try to put everything in marker of what I have to cut. But I do know I have to cut this off, this off, and I actually have to cut from here up into about right here. So I'm going to remove this bracket as this helps hold the headlight in place. Um, and then I'll show you guys before I start doing the cutting how I plan on doing it. So these were there. What I did is used an oscillating tool and it worked fantastic. Cut right through the plastic. It was easily controllable, so I didn't have to worry about puncturing anything behind here. Um, but now I'm gonna have to trim this up. And what I'm gonna do is put a steel plate here so that way I don't hit it with the saw because I can't do this 
it's just not long enough. Um, and plus, I believe there's some metal that we're going to have to cut through up there. So getting ready to do some modifications to this core support. This is a bracket that has a T30 that you can raise it up and get it out of the way. Um, so I did that and then I outlined exactly how Rada has there. So you wanna essentially, this is where the intercooler is gonna sit back against and you want to have clearance all the way up to here uh, for that part of the intercooler. So I did that for both sides and they specify that you only want to cut above this first part of the tab so that way this top part is still intact um, and holds everything together. This is a rough cut of what I've done so far. The intercooler won't show up until tomorrow, so I'm just trying to get everything I can done so that way once I get the intercooler here, I can install it and get the car back on the road. They sent some pictures. I'm not sure if I cut it too low, so tomorrow I'll mock everything up, and if I have to raise this up a little bit lower, or up a little bit higher, I'll show you guys um, how much more I had to raise it up. And if I need to do any trimming, so I'll take a deburring tool and try to get some of this plastic that's here off. I decided to use the oscillating tool again, just because I don't trust myself with a 12 inch blade on a Sawzall. So now I just have to do the other side. This is where we start taking apart the bumper to make room for the intercooler as it's quite a bit thicker than the factory part. So this styrofoam bottom piece is held in place by metal clips. You will pop those clips off, remove the styrofoam piece. There's bolts here along the bottom there's two bolts here, a bolt here, and then all the bolts across the top. Same thing on the other side. And then two bolts here, and we're gonna remove this piece and this piece. Um, once those are removed, I'll show you everything that needs to get trimmed. So this part isn't hard, it's just very tedious. You have to remove the foam from here, foam from there. There's a bunch of these clips that hold everything in here and here. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. This top part of the grill separates from this part of the grill. And now we have to modify this part of the grill according to the directions. So the first things that I removed were these lower tabs along the bumper. And now I just modified the upper piece. So what you do is you essentially just Cut it off, leaving that. Again, I use the oscillating tool. If you do not have one, it makes this very, very easy to do. This is the back of the bumper completed. So just to give a recap, cut the bottom half of this top of the grill off, pull this part of the grill completely out, Trim this, trim this. You can see that's kind of what it looked like. It's that. You have to trim off that tab right there. Oops, sorry. That. 
trim that tab over there. And I'm sure I'll have to do some minor trimming, but I um, believe that's it for the, oh, sorry. I also took a flap disc, um, 40 grit is what I used, and I smoothed it down here. I'm not sure if I took enough off or not. I didn't want to take off too much. I feel like that's something that I can put up onto the car and give myself more clearance if need be. Now I'm going to take the crash bar and cut all of it off except for the far left side where I have the tow hook. So I'm going to keep everything on this section and just cut it right next to that. This is the end of the crash bar that's been cut off. I sanded it down, cleaned it up, and put a layer of black paint on it so that way it doesn't show. And now I'm ready for everything to be reinstalled. Just waiting on the intercooler. Should be here tomorrow. This thing is ridiculous. been one of the, those days. So the intercoolers came in, um, intercooler came in and getting ready to mock it up. It is huge on the front of the car. I don't think this video will do it justice. Um, couldn't figure out why I couldn't get this bracket here to fit even and come to find out the front core support on the TTRS is actually sits out further on this side of the car. So I'm gonna take the intercooler back off and once I get everything trimmed back up, I'll show you what I trimmed and hopefully- get I forgot to solved. record this section, but on the driver's side, you actually have to cut back so far that you're removing the part of the mount where you can see that the original intercooler mounted to. Here's a picture that Rada sent to me. Here you can see I have the headlights back installed. I have them loosely mounted so that way I can move them and adjust them once the bumper's on. I'm probably the only weirdo that cleans the ducts, but they said that they might need to get trimmed. However, this is it's pretty good. I don't think I need to trim that at all. Maybe on the 19s and newer they do, but this is a 2018. So I'm going to try to get the front bumper fitted and get the car back together. Look how thick the thing is. Oh, and by the way, I did have to trim these adjusters a tiny bit at the bottom. So that way they don't hit here when everything is lowered. More cutting. So on their instructions, it's a 2019. Wasn't quite sure what I'd have to do over here with it being a 2018, but there was a tab there I cut off. There was a tab here I cut off and I tried to cut. Here you can see that I was just originally going to trim it. However, I did have to take the sanding disc to this portion as the intercooler piping does hit against this pretty good. So make sure that you clearance this, uh, otherwise it will be impossible to get the bumper onto the tabs. I could without it going through the front. I did that on both sides. I also took a razor blade and trimmed the soft part 
from around this, which gave me a little bit more clearance because right now that's where I'm hitting. It looks like there's plenty of clearance here. So maybe on a 2018, you don't have to do this. Um, I'll try to get a video of what it looks like once it's installed. Okay, so I washed the car up quick, but it is ready to go. Front bumper's back on, everything's mounted. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update. Um, here I said that you didn't need to shave it as much as I thought, but I was wrong because in order to push the bottom part of the bumper back, you do have to push this back in. So it is, as you can see, it is right on there. It does not get any tighter, but this inner cooler is huge. It takes up the whole front of the car. If you have any questions, ask away. If you can, please like and subscribe.